Okay. Good afternoon, Mary. Um, welcome to the tribe's uh, elder interview project. And we'd like to begin by having you give us your full name, including your middle name, and spell it out for us for this gentleman sitting over here. My full name is Marilyn, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N, June, J-U-N-E, Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N. And your maiden name? My maiden name is Swamp, S-C-H-W-A-M-P. Okay. Could you give us the name? Oh, no. Where were you born and when? Um, I was born here in Green Bay, October 30th, 1949. Okay. And who are your parents? My parents are, um, my father is Coleman Swamp, and my mother is Emily um, Christian. Christian. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember your grandparents on your mom's side? Um, on my mom's side, I do. Okay. And um, what are their names? Well, my grandfather is Thaddeus Christian, and my grandma is um, Louisa Christian, okay. but Louisa is actually my great-grandma. Um, that was Thaddeus' mother. Okay. Um, his wife, Lily, passed away when my mom was um, eight months old, and so his, his mother... Louisa brought up my mom, okay. and that was the only mother she ever knew, so she she didn't call her grandma, she called her mom. Mom, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how about you on your dad's side? My dad's side, um, I don't remember his mother, I knew her name was uh, Grandma Esther, and I vaguely remember his dad, and his dad was Eli Swamp. Um, but I just know that he had um, a gray beard, and I called him Grandpa Whiskers. <laughs> okay. But other than that, um, we moved to Milwaukee in 19, November of 1951, and we would just go back and visit periodically, and I think that's why I don't remember my dad's um, parents family. very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what... What kind of uh, occupation did your dad do? Um, when we first moved to Milwaukee, my dad worked in a, f in a factory that made light bulbs, I think, or something. But um, before too long, he got into the bricklayers' union, and he be that was his profession after that. Um, he was a bricklayer. Okay. How about your mom? My mom um, was the homemaker. <laughs> She just stayed at home with us. <laughs> okay. Um, now, did you... Okay, so there was a time period between when you were born in Green Bay and before you moved to <coughs> Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Well, um, <coughs> I got married in um, 1967. No, I'm, I meant but with your mom and dad. Oh, with my mom and dad? Yeah, you were born in when, 40... I was born in 49. We 40. moved to uh, Milwaukee in 51. Oh, okay. Well, that's just a short, short period. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to your, your grandma and grandpa on your mom's side then. Do you remember what they looked like and what they did? I remember them very well. Okay, let's talk um, about them for a little bit. They, um, my grandma lived in a little house on Old Seymour Road, right off from Seminary Road. Um, until she was unable to take care of herself. And my grandpa was the janitor at the um, Episcopal Church, okay. the Holy Apostles. <coughs> and so when she was unable to take care of herself, then she came and stayed with him. And they lived in the parish hall above. There was a little living quarters at that time. Downstairs was school rooms. Right. And um, above that was where <coughs> my grandpa and grandma lived. Okay. So your, your grandpa was like the caretaker for the for, for the, the church area? Yes. And what did your grandma do? Did she help him? Um, I don't ever... Um, she may have done some things, but when we would visit, she was always mostly cooking or, or having relatives over. People, a lot of people used to come and visit her. Okay. So you were just a couple of years old when your family moved to to Milwaukee mm -hmm. then. Do 
Do you have brothers and sisters? I had one sister. Um, her name was Los Jean. Jean. We were 10 years apart. And um, just recently I found that I, I do have a brother. <laughs> okay. And well, what is his name? Uh, Robert Christian. Okay. Um, now when you moved to Milwaukee, you were just a little kid, and you would come back and forth periodically. Mm -hmm. uh, when you would come back to visit, did you have family, other kids that would visit with you? Um, mostly um, the family of Anna John. Okay. Anna and my mom were brought up together. All right. And um, when my grandma was still alive, we would stay with my grandma and grandpa, but then um, I would go play with Anna's kids. She has children my age and older. Um, did you ever visit for very long, or was it just short? Just usually weekends. Um, occasionally, during summer, um, when school was out during the summer, I would stay by Anna for a week, and then I would come home, and then one of her kids would come with me, and they would stay by us for a week. And did you notice if there was electricity or, or plumbing on the reservation at that time? Um, at my grandma's house, there was electricity, because my Uncle Amos put electricity in there, but okay. she still had an outhouse. Okay. Uh, and at Anna's house, she, she had uh, electricity in a lavatory and running okay. water. And then above the church, where my, where my grandma and grandpa stayed, uh, there was running water and electricity. Okay. That would be in the 50s then, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, did you ever go cherry picking with the kids during the summer? No, no, but uh, we never went cherry picking, but uh, we did pick beans for August ferns. Okay. Uh, in their field. Mm -hmm. um, Anna would send us over there and, <laughs> and <laughs> ask us to pick hair. beans. <laughs> yeah, <it's> probably. <laughs> uh, and that would be our little spending money because we never picked very much beans, To You know, we spent a lot of time fooling around playing. <laughs> did, did you go to the local fairs with the kids then? Um, no, not really. Yeah. No, we, when I came and stayed with Anna, we usually did things around the house or um, once she brought us to um, the show in Green Bay, little things like that. But I don't ever recall of attending any of the, the county fairs or anything, but... Um, in Milwaukee, I, I did manage to get to the state fair when I was younger. We always went one day anyways. Did the kids, um, Anna's kids, did they go down by the creek to play at all? Ice skating, I remember we would go ice skating down there. Mm -hmm. And sledding maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then when you were living in Milwaukee, now there's a big stretch between you and your sister that was 10 yes. years. Um, where did you go to school in Milwaukee? Um, for primary school, I went to, I started out at Palmer School, I think it was, but I ended up going to Wisconsin Avenue School on 27th in Wisconsin. And then from there, I went to Wells, which was on 18th in Wells. At uh, junior high there, and then I end up going to West Division High School on Twenty uh, Fourth and Highland. Um, I think it's called School of the Arts now. They okay. have uh, it's not called West Division, and the junior high. I think they turned that into the rescue mission. <laughs> Uh, it no longer exists okay. there. But the grade school I went to on Wisconsin Avenue, that's still standing. Okay. Speaking of school, did um, did your mom and dad ever mention having gone to the boarding schools? <coughs> yes. Both of them? Both of them. My dad um, was, uh, got sent away to school, boarding school, because his mom couldn't afford to feed him on a or take yeah. care of him very well. So he was gone away to school. Do you know which one? Um, up around Gresham. Um, 
Is it red something? I, I think yeah, I, yeah. yeah, something like that. I can't think of the name of it right now. But it was a wrong question. What about your mom? My mom, um, she didn't get sent away to school until high school. She went to, um, well, first she went to a Catholic school, but they were very mean to her there. And um, her um, grandpa, her mother's um, dad, right. he was still alive, and he always took interest in her. And um, they were mean to her at the Catholic school. The nuns um, would um, slap her in the face, and one time they made her nose bleed because she would talk Indian. Her and her other, the other nightis that went there. So when um, her grandpa found out about it, um, he talked to um, her, m my grandpa, and he said, uh, you know, let's send her to a Lutheran school. He says, I think she'll be better off over there. And I guess she was. She said she got treated much nicer when she went to the Lutheran school. At least they didn't slap, slap wow. them or hit them or reprimand them in any way if they talked their language. Okay. She was much happier when she went to the Lutheran school. Okay. How about your grandparents? Did they, do you know if they went to boarding schools as well? Mm, I don't think so. I don't ever recall them talking about it. Okay. Um, it seems like my grandma, who had actually been my great-grandma, she knew, she came here from New York when she was just a very small girl. And then I think she was 14 um, when this lady came to the house. Um, she had her son with him, with her. And uh, the next thing she knew, she was getting married. They had made that arrangement, that, that arrangement. Mm -hmm, for this man uh, to marry her. And um, she said she was scared because she was so young, but she said he was a real he was real nice to her. Um, even though they were married, um, he like courted her and uh, like dated uh, did things on that in that, that order um, before he before they start acting like right. a married couple. Do you know if they were affiliated with the uh, the Episcopal Church at all? At that time, I don't remember. I can't recall. Okay. Um, I was just trying to figure out where the Lutheran school would have been. Um, mm, I don't really know. Okay. Well, we're going to go back to... Oh, I was going to ask you about the language now. Did did your parents and your grandparents speak Oneida? Yes. All uh, um, my grandparents spoke fluent Oneida. As a matter of fact, my grandma um, couldn't speak English that I can remember, and that's why she, um, when I was born, she asked my mom what my name was, and my mom told her that my name was Marilyn June. And she said, Marilyn? And my mom goes, no, mom. She says, Marilyn. And my grandma says, Marilyn is a man's name. She says, you can't call her that. She says, I'm going to call her Mary June. And so that's how I got called Mary June, because everyone started calling me that, um, all my relatives. And even to this day, the um, people here in Green Bay that know me and my family, they all call me Mary June. So <laughs> and, um, but, my ac but my real name is Marilyn June. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, Amos is then your uncle? Well, he, Amos... And Anna and Marie and my mom were all brought up together. They're actually first cousins. Okay. But um, because they were all brought up together, they, um, Amos and Anna and Marie, they all called my mom their sister. Okay. Um, they were brought up by our grandma because their own mother was kind of sickly and she had the younger, ch a lot of younger children. And so... That's why they were sent over there. Okay. Um, 
All right, now we go back to the school. You you graduated from the, the school in Milwaukee mm -hmm. then? Yes, I did. And um, after school, where did you go? <laughs> after school, I got married. <laughs> Who did you get married to? <laughs> I got married to uh, Fred Johnson. He's Menominee. Now, when we were talking earlier, you were talking, well, we started talking about the um, the takeover of the Coast Guard building. Mm -hmm. And I had asked if you would kind of talk about that a little bit so we, we, we can remember what well, happened. Um, my father was um, associated with the American Indian Movement. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, because he was, then my mother was too. So when they had that takeover, um, everybody had to help. And my mother did her um, contribution by cooking. And one time she couldn't go, and so she asked if I would go in her place. So I said yes. And um, it was, I found it to be kind of scary because there were so many police surrounding them and uh, you could see them stationed like on buildings uh, that were down by the lakefront, you know, they had high-rise apartment buildings and you could see them with guns and so it was uh, kind of scary. I would imagine. <laughs> um, yeah. and you never knew what, they were, what was going to happen, you right. know, in such a, I guess you could call it a volatile situation. Yeah. But um, fortunately, no one was hurt. Who um, was the leader at, do you remember anybody being like the main? Paulus. Her was Paulus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once they took over this area, what did they use it for? Um, they used it for school in a kind of a halfway house. Is it still being used? Or no, it's, I, I don't even think it's standing anymore. I think they tore it down. Okay. Um, all right, so after you, you got married, mm -hmm. how many um, children do you have? I have two children, two and daughters. And their names? Uh, my oldest daughter is uh, Deborah, and my youngest daughter is Denise, and they're four years apart. Okay, now do you bring them back and forth to Oneida? Um, actually, they lived here in Oneida before I did <laughs> in oh, this okay. area. My youngest daughter moved up here after. Um, I think about nine or ten years ago she moved here. She was out of high school and she had worked in Milwaukee for a while and one of her friends came here and so she decided she wanted to live up here. And she came and she got a job in the casino um. and she just stayed here. So let me see, about maybe five or six years ago. Then my oldest daughter, uh, she works for the state. She had opportunity to transfer within the state uh, to Appleton. So she moved out here as well. So in April of 04, my husband lost his job due to downsizing. So we just decided to move here too because our children and our grandchildren okay. are here. So we That's ended up living here too. Now we live here as well. That's we, live, nice. we don't live in Oneida, we live right here in Green Bay, but, you know, it's so close. It yeah. Um, when you used to come back and forth to, to Oneida from Milwaukee, did, were you ever here during the holidays, um, like Christmas or? <coughs> when my grandma was alive and still living out here, yes. Okay. Um, we would um, come up. Do you know if they celebrated Hoyan when you? Oh yes, oh yes. When uh, when my grandma was living, we always celebrated Hoyan, and she always well. She when as she got uh, older, of course, she didn't make the donuts herself, but my mom always made them for her. She never we never bought donuts yeah. <laughs> or treats. We always made it ourselves. Was made ourselves. Your grandma sounds pretty traditional. Did she did she do any of the the herbs, collecting herbs and medicines? Um, I think she did when she was younger because um, my mom always told me, she says, oh, she says, my mom would want to tell me and show me certain things. She says, but I was, I just wanted to play, she says, and with my friends, she says, I never paid any attention. Yeah. She says, now I could just kick myself. But my grandma delivered, um, babies and help people.
people when they were when they were sick. Cause like a midwife. So she must have known medicine some woman. medicine, yeah. yeah. Well, we're finding out there were a couple of different ladies that were like medicine medicine people. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so your children live out here now, and yes. your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get. Did I ask you the names of your grandchildren? No, um, I have um, three grandsons. My oldest grandson, uh, his name is James. My middle grandson, his name is Ben. And my little grandson, he's Coleman. <laughs> you have all boys. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Do they, did they um, go to school out here or in Green Bay? Um, the two older grandchildren go to Seymour, and my little grandson goes to uh, De Pere. Okay. Um, what are your feelings about the, the New York land claims? Do you follow that at all? No, I don't follow that. Um, I wish I would, I wish I would, but I, I it seems so, um, in, there's so much legal terminology, I think, that's involved in that, and from as long as I can remember, they always talked about the New York claim and did your parents talk about the 52 cent check that they <laughs> used to <laughs> get? I never heard oh, about okay. that. Um, but um, I know um, my Oscar Archiquit was friends with my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And he would say, oh yeah, we got a claim. You know, he says, I don't know if I'll see it. He says, but I hope so. But he, I, of course he never did. Yeah. And um, I, I just don't, I'm not very involved in that. I know I political should be, stuff. but uh, political things, and especially if there's um, a lot of different, um, I don't like when there's uh, controversy. <laughs> do, um, do you vote in the tribal elections? Um, if I know the person that's running for the office, yes, I will vote for them. Of course, I don't know a lot of people yet. Yeah, but, it takes um, a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, the people that I do know, um, if I know them long enough and well enough, and if they're running for an office, and then I, I ask them what they have to do or get done, I'll vote for them. And there seem to be a lot of, you know, a lot more people moving back from Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, do you use a lot of the uh, tribal facilities then, like the health center, or the fitness center, or any of those? Um, well, I don't use the fitness center as much as <laughs> I should, but I have gone there. <laughs> and um, yes, I do use the health center. Um, I work for the tribe. I work at the, in the wardrobe department at the, at the by right. next to the I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so um, I do have health insurance, but I still go to the um, Oneida Health Center yeah. because it's convenient for one thing. I don't yeah. have to go very well, it far. It helps them out too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what is your your feeling about the casino? Have you seen a lot of improvements based on the casino, or well, just from my my <laughs> good information I see and hear, um, I think it's a good thing. Um, it's, it's gotten a lot of things that we never had before for, um, I don't know all the aspects of it, but, um, I, I like the fact that we have that health center and I think part of that is, might be from on kind of the casino. Yep. And I like the, uh, that we ha are able to have, um, housing just for elderly. I think that's a good thing. And the, um, I think part of that is from the casino. I'm not really sure, but um, anything that they use the money for to help the people, then I'm for it. <laughs> um, whether it's children or, or anybody, any tribal member at any in any way. What does it mean to you to be an elder? I don't think of myself <laughs> as an elder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> I know that uh, um, I'm considered that, but I don't think of myself that way. Um, 
I don't think I've lived enough years yet to have that much wisdom, but um, if someone thinks I'm an elder, well, then I'm honored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> elder, being elder is a good thing, I always thought. Yeah. Um, what is your, uh, your feeling about, they toss this term around a lot, um, tribal sovereignty? Well, I just guess I don't have too much to say about that. It, uh, just like anything else, it can be good and bad. Um, I'm, I'm sure it has a lot of good things for us, but maybe what we think is good is not really that good for us. I really don't know because I don't know what is all involved with it. But um, I think it's a good thing. Um, do you think it's a good time to be Oneida? Like right now, I know at one point th there are people that come in and say, you know, the, their parents told them not to acknowledge that they were Oneida. But well, I I I'm proud to be Oneida, but I'm proud to be a Native American. It, to me, it doesn't really matter if you're Oneida or Chippewa or Menominee. Um, as I was growing up, my folks always taught me just to be proud to be Indian. Um, um, that's how I try to tell my girls, all, even though my daughters are both uh, half Oneida and half Menominee. But um, I always felt that if you were a Native American, we were all the same. I guess some people don't feel that way, but I feel that way. It's a good way to feel. Um, looking at our when you think about this video being finished and your children, your grandchildren looking at it, is there any kind of a message that you would like to leave them or anybody else that might look at your video down the road in the future? Well, I guess I'd want them to just be proud of who they are and where they come from. Um, and if they can do something for the good of the tribe or just the Native Americans in general, I hope that they will do it and be proud of what they do. Okay. At this point, I'm going to ask the gentleman if I missed any of the questions. I didn't catch anything. Hmm? I must have done a good job this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Mary, I'd like Mary. I was going to say Mary Jane. Mary June. Mary June. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for sharing your story with us this oh, afternoon. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> now, did you bring pictures? No, I didn't. No, okay. <laughs>